Go. All right, hey dudes, what's up? We're here, we're gonna clean up the river. You got your badge, you got your gloves. All right, let's get going. Hey folks, thanks for coming out. Uh, we really appreciate you coming out for this Potomac River Watershed Cleanup. This is an annual event and you are part of a group of folks from all over the watershed, Pennsylvania, West Virginia, all the way down to Southern Maryland who are cleaning up the Potomac River and the surroundings today. We're here at Hard Bargain Farm and this is the beautiful Potomac behind us. And as you can see, there is lots of trash, so we've got a lot to do today. And I just want to remind you to take a few minutes to check out the Alice Ferguson Foundation's website. They're doing a lot of great work to help solve the problem, not just do cleanup. So we hope that you can look into participating in some of their other activities. So today, you guys already have your gloves and your bags. If you don't have your gloves and bags, please make sure to sign in and, and give us your information as well as grab those gloves and bags. You have a yellow bag and a blue bag. Your blue bag is for recyclables. Your yellow bag is for trash. I recommend pairing up into a team of two, one with a blue, one with a yellow. That way you don't get confused of what goes in each bag. The reason to keep those separate is we do keep track of that. We'll be collecting some data at the end, counting our bags, weighing them, and then that helps us to learn more about what kinds of trash we're finding here so that the Alice Ferguson Foundation can use that information in their work throughout the year. We also will be counting tires, plastic bags, um, syringes and cigarette butts so if you have it in your head that you can count those we welcome that information and it'd be great to be able to keep track of that all right so a little few uh, housekeeping things we have some water on the boardwalk a little farther down and you'll see that once you start going out you also have extra bags and gloves there we have a first aid kit and my colleague Ashley will also have a first aid kit and if you see sharps or other hazardous materials for the, the closed containers of hazardous containers, don't open them up, just leave them be. Come find either Ashley or I and we'll help you take care of that. Uh, the sharps, we have a protocol for that. If you feel comfortable picking them up, uh, we'll run by that protocol with you before we get started. But I recommend just leaving it be in and find one of us to help take care of that. All right. Oh, and one last thing. You can see we've got lots of shoreline to clean up this way and the boardwalk. But let's not go past here. The, the bank gets steep over there and we don't want to eat anyone falling in the water. I don't have time for a rescue. We got all this trash to pick up. All right, I think we're ready to get started. Keep your gloves on at all times and uh, help us collect that data. Thanks folks. I didn't hear anybody call me out for sharp, so I think we're good on that. Yeah, I, I did find some medicine, though. Just leave that in the trash. We don't want to mess with that. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. Any other interesting items that we can share? Got a dog toy. Thank you for being a site leader. Here are some important information you need to know about um, encountering biohazardous material in the field. Uh, before you go out and do your cleanup, make sure that you have all your supplies set up. Be sure to check the list at potomaccleanup.org, the site leader section. Um, but regarding biohazardous material that you might encounter, assume that you will, make sure that you have these materials ready. Vinyl or latex gloves are fine, as well as your Cleanup gloves, these have a thicker plastic coating and some tongs. Here I have a pair of hot dog tongs and kitchen tongs. There are also disposable kinds. You can have either one. It might be even better if you can find some with some rubber edges for grip. Most important, you're going to need a container to put the biohazardous materials 
that you encounter. These include sharps such as needles and syringes or uh, materials that, that have come in contact with bodily fluids such as blood or other liquids. Grab a thick plastic laundry detergent or bleach bottle and write on the outside biohazard do not recycle. What I don't have with me at this moment at the table is some duct tape but after we're done we suggest duct taping the top. Make sure that this does not go into the recycling container but instead this goes in the trash. To put your gloves on we suggest doing two layers. One, your plastic gloves for extra assurance as well as your cleanup gloves with the thicker plastic. If you come across some syringes, for instance, we happen to have some clean syringes here that we're using as an example, make sure you're at the same level of the needles or syringes or biohazardous material. If they're on the ground, make sure that you come down to the level of the ground. You're going to want to use your tongs to pick them up. So go ahead, open your container, place your container securely to the side, and pick up the items one by one with your tongs. Make sure that you do it carefully, not too quickly. Pick them up and slowly place into your container. If you're wearing disposable gloves like I am, you can go ahead and remove these gloves and dispose of them into the container. To remove your gloves, make sure that you do not touch the outside of the gloves. With one hand, grab the with one gloved hand, grab the outside of the other and pull it down. With the clean hand, grab underneath and pull it together into a little ball and tuck in. At this point, make sure you close the container. You have duct tape. Duct tape this shut. Make sure this goes into the trash. If these are disposable tongs, that's better. Otherwise, sanitize them. Once you're done and your biohazard container is in the trash and not the recycling, grab some Purell or other alcohol sanitizer, sanitize your hands, and continue with your cleanup.